Hello, this is another PHP tutorial. This is number seven for us as we discuss the PHP command include. The include command allows us to write a particular piece of code one time and then use it multiple times throughout the rest of our code just by calling the include command. It also allows us to use HTML as well as variables within our PHP code very easily. Once you use it and know it, you'll love it. Let's get started. Okay, before we get into the coding, I just wanted to bring your attention to this sidebar right here. If you click this link, you can see the entire tutorial session. We have seven videos in there now, the PHP programming lessons, and that will help catch you up on things. With that said, let's get started. I prepared a HTML page called header HTML. I'm going to open that up with the uh, Notepad++ so you can get a look at it here. It's just a real simple page where I've included a head and title and body and I'm saying this is my page header and the reason why I'm using this sample is a lot of times um, that will happen where you take a top menu with a logo and you include it in each one of the pages so that your uh, drop down tabs and your logo can be on each page so I'm just going to call this header I'm going to go to the, um, the web server and make another page in the folder I'm going to make a text document called include.php and I'm going to go ahead and open that up in Notepad++ so I can edit it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start my PHP uh, page with the appropriate tag to open up PHP going to come down and I'm going to get right into the include statement. Uh, it's like this, include. Name of the page that I want to call. HTML. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and print something from this PHP page too. Print. close the HTML. Oops. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and save this as the include PHP. Yep, rewrite it. Let's go ahead and uh, use our browser. Open that up. Let's get to where we're going here. There's our clouds. I'm going to open my include.php and if you can see this it says this is my page header and then it says this is more text now it didn't put a carriage return there but I can go ahead and do that by putting a BR statement right here which makes a uh, carriage return BR so let's take a look now gotta save save refresh so as you can see it printed both statements out of this one page it went to the include HTML uh, header page it printed the HTML and then it printed this if I were to copy this include statement and put it again underneath this I'm going to put another BR statement here so that it uh, puts another carriage return separated out for us like that and I save, it should bring in header twice. Let's refresh. So as you can see, as many times as I put the word uh, include with the include name, it will go ahead and put it up at the you know, on the page. This also works with PHP as well as HTML. And let me demonstrate that for you. We're going to go ahead and go into our directory again. I'm going to go to a new we're going to go to a text document. This time I'm going to make a footer. 
and this would be an example of a page that uh, maybe had a copyright notice or something at the bottom of each HTML page or I mean at the end of each script page uh, and so we're going to just call it Flutter PHP okay open it up in uh, plus plus and begin starting our code here PHP I'm just going to print a statement and say this uh, this is the okay. And I forgot my question mark here too. There we go. That's the nice thing about the color coding on the Notepad++. You can see a mistake in the color coding. I'm going to go ahead and call this save as uh, the footer PHP. I'm going to go back to my include statement and I'm going to change this to footer.php. Let's see what we have. Let's save it up. Refresh. So as you can see, it printed the page header from HTML, it printed the text that was within PHP, and then it printed the footer as footer PHP. So um, there is one more thing that we'll do. Um, let me show you that. The other thing that we'll do is also carry over variables, and I will demonstrate that by going into a uh, a page that we already put together here. Let's see if I can find it. The footer PHP page. Let's put a variable in the footer. Let's just say um, string var equals um, this is our text. And this will make sense to you in a minute. and save that and then I'm going to um, go back to my include PHP page and I'm going to print can't type there string bear and the only way that it could get that is through the include footer PHP right we'll see what happens say and let me also put a uh, br statement in here so it will separate it out nicely I like to use the brs okay. Save. And let's see what we have, refresh oh we got a uh, problem here line 4, this is our text and that's coming from um, the footer. Let's see what's wrong with our footer here. Oh, I see. I have a single quote here. And I've got a double here that they have to match. So let's we'll just fix that real quick. Save. Let's reload. So there it is. It printed the page header from header HTML. You printed, this is more text from the actual PHP uh, page. It printed the footer from the footer.php page and it also printed uh, the variable which is this is our text. So it did all this by using the include statement. We used it one, two, two times plus we passed a variable um, through the footer PHP page so as you can see the include is very very handy this is just a few examples of how to use it I uh, generally like to use it to pass um, large amounts of data um, such as a entire um, menu for the top or for logo placement copyright things as well as um, opening databases or passing session data and we'll get into session data and a couple of those other uh, topics in further detail in other classes. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, play with this. Um, if you have any questions, leave me some comments. And I'll see you next time. 
Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.